today's project is, uh, I'd, I think I'd like to make myself a set of rocker lockers. Um, this is for the twin cams. And I can buy them out of the U.S., but by the time I order them up here and get them shipped here, I'm probably looking at about 50 some dollars. Uh, being a bit of a cheapskate at heart, I'm always trying to find a different way to use what you got uh, to try and make something. So the plan today is to, uh, is to try and make myself a set of rocker lockers for the trike project. And uh, I don't really see any reason why I can't do it. So we're going to go ahead and see if I can do it. And what I found out by checking around is that I've got a box of valve guides that I bought quite a period of time ago from a fella uh, from a shop that was going out. And uh, I paid 75 bucks for the whole box. Some things I use, uh, many things I don't anymore. And uh, through looking into things, I found these little valve guides. And uh, the bolt fits right in them. So the inside diameter is exactly what I need uh, for the inside. Um, if I find it's a little bit tight, I do have a reamer as a backup that I can run through it just to uh, get it out to the bolt size. But these uh, valve guides are made of oil like bronze, um, which is expensive, but so they'll do the job. And yes, one valve guide can cost you some money, um, but they're what I got laying around and uh, it's going to get me out of this bind, I think. So we're going to go ahead and try to make some rocker lockers uh, from what I've seen and uh, see if they'll work on my twin cam, uh, which I'm sure they will. But, uh, you know, it's all about looking around the shop, figuring out what you have to work with. You know, the parts that are laying around are something you can use. Yes, they might be worth some value for something else, but at the time when you're trying to make something, um, they may be worth more value to you. And uh, I, I enjoy making things. So that's the plan today is we're going to go ahead and try to make some rocker lockers and see what we can do and what's the worst that's going to happen. Uh, they won't work or I'll have to press them out or whatever, but uh, I feel quite confident. I've taken one of these valve guides and I've turned it down to a little rocker locker here. And they'll go right in the plate with a light press. So I'll be able to, uh, sorry, it's in this one, like that. So I just make sure on the length and stuff, and then we're gonna to try to turn some out on the lathe, and I'll show you some of that, and uh, we'll take it from there. So in order to hold these in the lathe, I've just taken a 5 16 long bolt, and uh, I turned down the taper on this end, and I found this little piece, which is actually just one of those little spacers that you use for your mirrors. And uh, I'm able to slide the valve guide onto this bolt, put this little tapered end in and a 5 16 nut and I tighten this nut up hold this in the chuck and I've uh, turned out a center in this so I can put a center on it and I know it's running perfectly straight um, so we're gonna go over to the lathe and turn one down and take some measurements and uh, see what we can do who knows so the first step of course was to find the right size valve guide and uh, through my looking and checking in the books, I found that early sportsters um, from 59, 58 to 69 have about the same size inside. The evol some of the evolutions, uh, 84 and later, have the same size on the intake guides. It's 310 thou or 309 thou on both of them. Um, so if you know a shop that's doing some head work and stuff and they've got old guides, which I always keep old guides around because I use them for spacers and such. Uh, because they're made of brass. Um, so any of those kind of things can be quite useful. So it doesn't necessarily have to take a brand new one and do that with it. Uh, I'm going to in this case. Um, but anybody who has that sort of thing kicking around or does head work may have, a, have uh, valve guides that they've taken out. So if you know somebody with a shop that does head work, say, hey, you throw your old valve guides out for evolutions or sports, there's, you know, I'd be interested in having them to uh, make myself a set of rocker lockers. And they might look at you like you got three heads, but you know, time is money and uh, money is money. If I have to put out 50 some dollars to do it, I'd rather take the time and make some out of, uh, I won't call it a piece of junk, but some old stuff that I have that'll be quite applicable to, uh, to do them with. So uh, we're gonna hit, go ahead and try to make some. So we'll get these ready and tighten them up.
we're still working on our rocker lockers and uh, after a few tries and paying attention to what they say find that the measurements are not always what they're supposed to be homemade alignment tool there to try and make sure we're in place. I guess. See what'll happen. There. We're a little bit stuck. Probably put that back in without the O-ring. Looks to me like we're still a little bit snug on it. Which means I can adjust my measurements a little bit. I'm, I'm a little bit shy of what they say and it's still coming out tight. But I do have a fix in the end if I need to. We will see and this one will give me something to go by for the next two that I make. I do have an idea to make it a little bit easier that I'm going to try, so... There we go. And they're in there. I think I'll just dress the top of that a little bit, uh, rather than try to press it in there and make it even harder. But, she's in there solid. So I'll just make two more, two more of them for my other head, and we should be away to the races. We'll just file this down a little bit. Uh, I don't want to force it in there any farther. I'm afraid to distort it. So we'll go with that. All right, rocker lockers. Now we've just dusted the top off just a tiny little bit there, sticking out rather than force it down in farther, and it cleaned up just fine. So that's going to tighten up our rockers. So we're going to go along and do the other set now. 
and uh, we've learned a few things so that's the way it goes and we'll work away at the other ones well we're getting a little closer now I found that measuring them out and uh, making them to fit is probably helping a little bit the uh, sizes you see posted on the internet might be a good general sizing for them but what's happening is that not all the holes are the same obviously That went in considerably better. Not quite down in there. That's better. I can certainly see how people have problems with them crushing up, folding up, because they're not, uh, not exactly made right. Probably by the rocker locker guys there, not the aftermarket. There we go. Same thing, we'll just dress that up a little fob just a tiny bit, and it'll be good to go. Since I've got a couple holes that are a little bit tight, I'm going to take this valve guide tool for doing out valve guides and since we're on oil like bronze uh, it should work fine. The size is in here. This old stone's not in very good shape. So I was using one of the junk ones. That's all we need it. So if you're too tight, you can always use that small valve guide hone if you have one to uh, loosen those up. There we go. Now we have no binding there at all. So I don't see how you'd really get them in there without any binding um, unless they have a hell of a big hole in them in which case they won't fit as tight but these in my uh, pig-headedness had to make my own they're good to go now